Copilot for Microsoft 365 is now available if your company signs up for at least 300 E3 or E5 licenses and jumps through some other hoops, etc. Now, Microsoft have been kind enough to give Microsoft MVPs a special sandbox area to play about with this, which I really appreciate. Um, but they put no onus on us to, you know, sugarcoat our feedback. We're not restricted. We're not Microsoft employees. So my honest opinion so far is that this is a thumbs down as it currently stands. It doesn't really do much. And I'll show you, you know, what it can do and what it can't do in a second. Um, having said that, I am a massive um, ChatGPT4 fan. But one year ago, you know, we were just doing pirate poems and nonsense on it. And now it's truly amazing. And I really believe and truly hope that Copilot goes the same way. So take what I'm saying now in the frame of now, December 2023. This stuff is going to change rapidly. So don't judge this. I guess the message to take away is, look, you're not missing anything yet. You know, if you can't sign up and you're an Excel user, a lover, and you're thinking you're missing out on lots of goodness with Copilot, well, you're not. OK, so let me show you what it is, what it can do, what it can't. And then, you know, as soon as the cool stuff comes along, I'll definitely do a new video and show you then. Try and make you a bit jealous further down the line. But don't worry, as of today, you're not missing anything. OK, let's go. Here's a table of data inside Excel for web, and I'm going to turn on Copilot. OK, this Copilot currently works in the web version of Excel. Again, if you have Copilot enabled, as I mentioned in the start, which is, you know, not many people. Um, and even if your company signs up for it, I think it's slowly rolling out across, you know, different regions, etc. So if you do have it, you get this side panel. This works in Excel for web or in desktop if auto save is on. OK, and, you know, you can do some basic stuff. I could say, OK, I want to do some sort and filtering. You know, I can sort and filter data. So, you know, I could do something like show top 10 product names. Um, for December sales. For, well, let's try for total sales. Let's see if it does this, total sales for year. Let's see what it does, OK? It might say, I can't work out total sales. It might just do it on a particular column. But it's trying to understand my data and work its way through. And what I found is it, you know, so it's created a pivot table. OK, and it's giving it for January, February, March. It's it's not really what I want. OK, um, add a column for total sales. Let's see if I can do that. And I've spelt column wrong. It's generating some formula suggestions. I wonder what it'll do. Again, I don't really know. OK, some let's go insert column. See, it's actually given us a little bit of a preview there. All right. So there's the formula. OK, that's pretty good. OK, so it's done that and you can do undo. Um, I like that. I'll give it a little thumbs up. It asked me to do something. Can I? Uh, OK, I'll cancel that for now. Right. Uh, OK, try again. Um, filter for top 10 total sales. Let's see if that works. So you've got to ask your questions in the right way, in the right order. You can do conditional formatting, some other bits and pieces. 
but I've tried it with other things and it just does, you know, strange stuff. Okay, cool. That's the to total sales and it's applied a little filter here. Let's have a look what it did. Uh, number filters, top 10. Okay, cool. So it worked. All right, or let's clear that filter. You know, but it's nothing I couldn't do manually and really simple, so it's not really adding much value. Um, let's say, um, so color code, um, all values greater than 100. Now, I've been very vague about color code. You know, I didn't say background color, font color, I didn't say what color. Let's see what it says. Another little caveat is all your data has to be inside a table. So again, very limited. Okay. So let's have a look, 124, 145. Okay, I'm not convinced on this conditional formatting. Let's go and have a look. Conditional formatting, manage rules. Uh, in this sheet. Yeah, so it's done it each column. Okay, it's done each column separately, which is not great for conditional formatting. All right, so maybe I can come in here and say exclude the total sales from that formatting. Now, does it, is it aware of its previous status? The thing is, once you start to try doing anything more complicated, it just lets you down. You know, trying to, I'll show you one in a second. It's just not great at doing that. Analyzing data, mm, it's no real difference to this analyze data button, which we've had forever. Okay. So what it's done is set the background color for all that range, which is not what I asked it to do. So let's go here, uh, back to home, conditional format in manage rules. Let's see if I change this to this sheet. So all that green is still applied. So how is, oh, it's just, it's just changed the color. It's not conditional formatting at all. Oh, okay, it's just changed the background color of the table. Oh, um, so things like that, okay? And then um, let me show you this other one. I had, a, I had a crazy formula, okay? And I basically asked it in here, can you simplify the selected formula? Okay, and it does a pretty terrible job. Um, ChatGPT4 has a good go at it. Okay, so it's saying I can't do it. Um, although before, this is what it gave me. It just said, take that formula and multiply it by two. That was the simplification. Right, look, I'm gonna stop it there. You, you get the idea. It's, it's not really, um, that useful currently. It, it's fun, it's quirky, maybe for you know somebody who's just starting, the ability to come in here and say, you know, um, suggest some useful analysis. Let's see what it says. Understanding your data. So it's just broken down April. Um, insert, but I don't know. You know, it's often people's data is laid out like this. Let's say if I come into here, I've got some vertical data. Let's try this instead. Um, show some useful trends. Let's see if that helps, you know. I've got some, okay, so I'm having some trouble. 
Um, what product has improved most over time? So let's just see what this has built for us. Uh, done value by product was added to sheet one. Okay, there is no sheet one. Um, let's try again. Oh, here we go. So that's just showing over time the pivot table, uh, the max of value. So look, that's my experience so far. I've only had this, you know, a few days, played about with it a little bit. Some of the other stuff, the PowerPoint stuff's quite cool. Um, but again, how much does it save you really? I'm not sure. But this will evolve. So my initial reaction is a bit of disappointment, to be honest. Um, but I think this, you know, Copilot's been switched on across an entire, you know, Office 365 platform. And the Excel part of it is probably going to be the slowest to involve, evolve because of the complexity of Excel. So they've got to go in baby steps. It's right that they do that. It's just, don't worry, you're not missing out yet because it's not really that good yet. Okay, hope you find it useful. Catch you in the next video.